Okay, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are well. So today I'm going to run through the process of shipping items through Hermes in the UK and just run through the step by steps and just break it down for you guys. If you haven't done this before, it might seem a bit daunting sending through Hermes because I know I felt like that the first time I did it because I was like, is my parcel the right size? Is it the right weight? And then I was like, oh, I've never used this website before. So I was just kind of like, ah, but I've done it quite a few times now so I thought I'd do a video and just share with you guys how I use Hermes and how I ship my parcels. So don't worry if it all seems a bit overwhelming because I'm just going to break it down for you guys and once you've done it once you'll pretty much get it straight away. So I'm just going to show you guys what I use and a little bit about how I work. So I've got my computer here and I'm going to record myself sending a parcel through the Hermes website as well as another way through my phone and printing the labels off at home and also through the click and print at the parcel shop. So if you guys are keen to learn a little more about shipping through Hermes, just keep watching. But before we get into that, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell if you haven't already to keep up to date with my latest videos and content. So let's begin with this parcel. So I sold these Converse's the other day and I've like pre-filmed myself sorting out the parcel and dropping it off at the parcel shop. If you guys are keen on what packaging I'm using, I got this packaging from Amazon. So basically I bought like a big pack of like 50 of various different sizes. So I've got them right here actually. So I'm just gonna run through that quickly. So you get 15 of these ones and then you get 15 of these ones. And then the next size, you get 10 of this sized one and then you get 10 of the largest sized one. So I mainly use the larger sized ones for like shoes or jeans or windbreakers and then like the smaller sizes I use for like t-shirts or sometimes jeans as well just depending what size they are. So altogether you get like 50 different sized bags and it all comes to about £3.69 so I'll link that at the bottom on my description if you guys are keen in that. And a good thing is you kind of like figure out what sizes you use the most and because one of the sizes that I've run out of I've actually ordered some biodegradable bags. These ones are a little bit more expensive but they're just a little bit more environmentally friendly and they've also got a double seal on them so you can reuse them and I just feel a bit better using this bag sometimes knowing that I'm just like helping the environment a little bit you know. I would use more of these ones but they do work out about 50p a bag so it is quite a bit more expensive so when I sell like a bit more expensive items I actually put them in these bags so I'll link these ones at the bottom as well just so you guys can see what sort of packaging I use and another packaging I use is a bag for life because there's always a bag for life hanging around in the house and when I've run out of a certain bag I just sometimes use one of them it's not the prettiest but it works. So let's go on to the Hermes website. So what I do is I go on to the Hermes website at www.myhermes.co.uk. It should come up like this, being the newer version of the Hermes website. I preferably like to scroll down to the bottom and then it says here on the orange tab, prefer our current website. And I like to click switch back to my Hermes site as I just preferably like the older one. I can do another video later using the more current version, but for this one, I'm just gonna stick to the older version. So I'm signing into my account here. I'd say it's best to have your own account because when you do have your own account, you can keep track of what parcels are still active and which ones have been delivered. So, I would highly recommend signing up for Hermes. And another positive side to having your own My Hermes account is that you can also use it on the app on your phone and keep track on it. So here we are on the accounts page now. So what you can do is you can also click import and you can import parcels from like eBay, Amazon, Shopify, etc as well. But for this occasion, I'm gonna be doing mine manually. So I'm gonna start off with clicking send on the top left hand corner. So on this bit, on the from, you put in your own address, your own postcode here. And then on the to, you type in the postcode you're gonna send it to. And now we're onto the weight. So this bit can get a bit tricky sometimes if you don't have a scale. If you're not so sure about how heavy your items are, you can always see if you've got a little kitchen scale or I used to just estimate them really. I've heard someone else say that if you've got like a kilogram of sugar, you could always just like um, see the difference between them and maybe that could help as well. I've only recently got a scale and I've not been additionally charged. You just gotta be a bit careful really, but usually clothes are less than a kilogram. So it all works out all right. So now you click on to get a quote now. 
and you put in here what does your parcel contain so on this occasion I'll put shoes how much is it worth um, I sold them for £18 and give your parcel a reference sometimes I'll put con 5.5 I'll put test. Then you're on to the cover bit. So for £2.90 you get free cover up to 20 quid. Or if your parcel's worth a bit more, you can spend a bit more to have the parcel fully covered. So I'm just going to click continue. So where's the parcel going? You guys know what to do here. If they provide an email, you can put that in there. If they put a telephone number, you can put their number in there. I think when you put in the telephone number, they will get text updates as to when their parcel might be arriving. So just choose the address that you want to send to. And then it's optional here for safe place or delivery instructions, optional as well. I usually just leave them blank. So now we're on to how will we get your parcel. So you can drop it off at the parcel shop or you can get a courier collection which is an extra 72p so I've done the courier collection a few times I actually did it quite a bit back when we were in lockdown um, it was good because they came and collected it from your house but the bad side of it was that I never really knew what exact time they were going to come and collect my parcel so it is good but then there's the negative sides to it as well so it's up to you which one you want to do I just prefer the parcel shop drop off and then as you scroll down here um, Homey shows you where the nearest places are for you to go to. So now you click on to pay now and then you're on to the payment summary and then you click I confirm and then you can pay however you want to pay by PayPal or by your Visa card. So once you've paid for that you can then click print to print out the label so I'm just printing out my label now, I've got a little Canon printer, works well for me and the ink cartridges have been cheap and easy for me to get. So this printer has been really good for me. I'll link it below if you guys are keen in this printer as well. But, but, the good news is you don't need a printer to ship through Hermes. Because what I'm going to show you next is printing the postage label out at the parcel shop, sticking it on there, scanning it there and sending it there. <laughs> So for this bit, I'm going to do it on my phone. So I'm just going to log on to the Hermes app. So now what you do is you click on to send something new. So now you just type in the address you want to send your parcel to. And then you can click what weight your parcel is. So on this occasion, it's under one kilogram. And then you've got the option for postable or standard. And then it gives you the sizes of them as well. So it won't fit through a letterbox. Max 120 centimeters long. A max combined length and circumference of 225 centimeters. Um, another thing I should mention, oh, here it is, is that it's very handy to have one of these. Like I literally use this all the time. I wear it around my neck as like an accessory probably. <laughs> But yeah, it's just really useful because then you can just measure your parcels and everything and measure your clothes. So just so you guys know. So yeah, I'm just going to click standard next and you can choose your delivery option. Standard £2.90 or next day delivery £4.88. So I'm going to click £2.90. And then it's either courier collection or drop off. So I'm going to click drop off. And then on the app, it also shows you where the nearest locations are. Then you click send parcel. So what's in the parcel? You guys know what to do here. Shoes, how much is it worth? Please check your parcel, doesn't contain any prohibited items, is under one kilogram and doesn't go over the maximum size. So you've got free cover. Basically, it's all the same stuff as on the computer, which I've showed you earlier. Then you click send send oh you can also do a video message for 50p <laughs> uh, i don't know what sort of video message i'd send you know add personal touch with a video hidden inside the parcels label and i'll just double check all the details are correct i agree to the terms and conditions so now i'm just going to put in my bank details to send it so when you click on it you've got the barcode on the top and then you've got another little code on the bottom in blue so you could either scan that qr code on the machine at the parcel shop or you can type in the lettered code on the bottom 
So when you're at the parcel shop, you can either enter the address manually on the machine there, or use the QR code that I've just shown you and scan it under the machine, and the machine will automatically print it out. And I'm sure if you guys need any help doing this at the parcel shop, the staff will help you with the machine because it can get a bit confusing as well. Like I know sometimes when I'm trying to scan my QR code, like I need to go at like different angles to try and scan it. And then there's people waiting and I'm just like, ah, <laughs> you know, so, don't worry if that happens to you guys because we're human and stuff like that is gonna happen and I'm sure maybe like the staff or the person behind you can help you out. So then you give the parcel to the till, they scan it, they give you a receipt and you're pretty much done. And what I like about using Hermes is that I can always log back into my account and just check where my parcels are and what day that it's gonna be arriving or if they've arrived already and it's pretty useful really because you also get a tracking number which you can give to your buyers as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a little step-to-step -step guide of the items that I use and how I I ship through Hermes so I hope that's helped you out and if you guys have any other questions feel free to comment below or if there's any other videos that you guys want me to cover about selling stuff online feel free to type a comment below so I've got some ideas of what sort of other content I could be making for you guys I'm an online reseller so I ship things like every day feel free to check out my channel if you want to see more of my content and what sort of stuff that I sell I also ship through Royal Mail as well so it's not just Hermes I like to switch between the both of them just depending what I sell at the moment I just feel like I prefer using Hermes just because it's that little bit faster because like when I go to the post office I always have to like wish that there's not a long queue there and when I go to a parcel shop there's hardly ever a queue so that's the reason why I use Hermes a bit more is just because of the queue waiting <laughs> because like I don't know if it's a London thing because there's more people here waiting to go to the post office but I just find that sometimes when I'm waiting in line for Royal Mail it can be a long time in London if you guys live elsewhere let me know what the queues are like for you because it might just be a London thing you know <laughs> but they both work well for me so don't rule royal mail out <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching this video and I hope it's helped you guys out and give me a like if you liked it and a subscribe if you want to see any more and I'll catch you guys later bye if you haven't done this before it might seem a bit <laughs> um, so I'm gonna and I've got because what I'm gonna show you next is printing the printer Printer, printing the printer.